We live by a different code for real I cannot see where they compare themselves to me I cannot see where they wanna bring hell to me Mama's been telling me About the snakes and shit Had to face the shit that I hated the most I'm gonna fake And they wanted me to hang my shit But I'm learning the ropes All of these trains get clipped Can't tie no knots Cause I'm off by the cops And people don't show the real love to you bro all right, so we back. This isn't surrounding gaming either. This this ain't what you thought it was. See what what I'm doing today is answering some questions. It's getting real intimate. Me, me and you, me and you. Not not you know nothing nothing sexual, none none of that. But we gonna get close. Cause I got 21 questions for y'all. I'm probably not answering all 21. 21. But I have a random uh, number generation generator between one and 21. 21. And I also have a website up that's going to give me 21, 21 questions to possibly answer for y'all. And what I'm going to do is, of course, put the number in a randomized number generator. And then depending on what comes out, I'm going to go to the question and I'm going to try to answer it in the realest way I can for y'all. Uh, just to give y'all some insight on who I am and, you know, good quality content. Shoot, in the back, I'm going to have some uh, Doom gameplay, not Eternal, but Doom playing. And uh, to be honest, I tried to play the game and do this randomized number generation generator and do the question at the same time did not work was way too much going on doom is not something i can just kick back hey what's good bro what you doing oh, i'm just playing doom bro chilling no it's no chill at all people are trying to take your head off demon satan himself is trying to knock on your front door and have lunch with you every second of this game quite literally you cannot chill but anyway what i'm trying to say is that didn't work so i'm gonna throw it in the back <laughs> i'm gonna answer these questions for y'all it's gonna be a good time so uh let's get it kicked off with the first randomized question, we have, drum roll please. All right, four. So four is, what kind of things really make you laugh? All right, so, say that make me laugh. My, my peoples, my family, first of all, okay. Let me say my family is literally hilarious because we all have very strong personalities that clash don't clash in a bad way but like they flow together but they also keep each other on their toes enough that stuff is usually funny even when it's not supposed to be funny even when stuff is annoying like we may get on each other's nerves but like looking back it's just goofy i swear we are living in uh what's the, the bernie mac show like each of us are a character on our version of the bernie mac show and once it's over, we all go to our rooms and sit in our chair and talk to America. <laughs> but yeah, so my family, shoot, sarcasm, like good sarcasm though. Uh, and getting flame, like when people cook Boy. me, that, that get me weak. Like I love cooking for sure. I love cooking myself too. Honestly, like what? I don't even know. I, I don't have anything to say about all of this yellow that I have on. I don't know what I was thinking at all. So I'm not even gonna touch that. I'm just gonna let that, we're gonna let that slide. We, we're gonna let that slide. Okay. Randomized generator, part two. Let's see what we have. Three, two, one, boop. 10. Okay, let's see what 10 is. If you had to pick an animal, which animal do you find the sexiest of all? Hmm? Shraggy? <laughs> oh no, okay. Uh, so, this is gonna be on the internet, so just just know I'm gonna answer the question, but I'm not with, I'm not with the, f if we got any animals watching, we can be cool. We can, we can be cool, but I'm not with the freaky shit. I'm not, I'm not with the freaking you. Just understand, but okay. Say, I might have to say a panther. A panther. Cause just imagine, sleek. A, like they can attack, but they also on a prowl. You know, they also on a prowl, they sneak, but you know they vicious, they got it in them, but they play it cool. I kinda like, I like, I like for my significant other to be the same way. You know, they play it cool, but you know they, but you know if they want to cook, they on your head. Yeah, and Panthers, come on now. Y'all already know what it is, Black Panther gang. So I had to throw the Panther in there, man. Definitely rocking with the Panthers. Definitely think that 
if I had to pick an animal that was sexy, it would be a panther. Uh, or shit. I don't know what else, honestly. But maybe a salamander. <laughs> no, nah, but shout out to the salamander. All right. Randomized generator number three. Uh, three, two, one. Three. Okay. Uh, going into question three. Let's see what this is. Would you rather have a home on the beach or the mountains? Now, that's a good question. Honestly, I have been to a beach home for vacation two times. And I have also been to the mountains two times. And while the beach homes, you know, I can really like, I really like them. Cause first of all, the families I was with, I went with my family and I went with my boy Mike. Shout out to Mike too. He gonna be on the game and channel. Just wait. We might play some Outlast. We might play some Modern Warfare. But that's that's besides the point. But me and Mike, we uh we loved them when we went to we went to Hilton Head and uh and Sailor Island or Top Sail, Top Sail Island, something like that. Not island, but beach uh in South Carolina. But that was pretty fire. I like being around like beach people because they seem happy you know everybody's on vacation some people are making reckless decisions um probably more reckless decisions than you so you know it, that's comforting i guess uh i like clean sand but i don't like not knowing what's in the water and right now i wouldn't really i wouldn't really quarantine hours i really wouldn't want to be on a beach to be completely honest and that leads me that's bringing me to my point of mountain homes. Now, when I went to Gatlinburg, I loved every bit of it. It was so relaxing. When you wake up early in the morning, you just see the smoke rising. I really thought, I thought the forest was burning down. One morning I walked out, I'm looking into the smoke. I recorded, I'm on Snapchat like, yo, what is, what's going on? Like I went up to my mom like, yo, come look at this mom. What is going on right now? I didn't realize that it was called Smoky Mountains because it really be smoking like that's just that's just earth. That's just what it does. That it is it it be gassed up, man. I didn't know. I wasn't aware. But mountains are alive. Uh bears, um peace and quiet. Uh for the most part, at least in Gatlinburg, people are minding their business cuz you already in the nature. Like why you go out to the nature to be nosy? Yo, why it doesn't that doesn't go together like nature and nosy don't work nature and my own business that that flows perfectly so i'm gonna have to say i would love to move out to the mountains before a beach most definitely i would like to be in the mountain what are we on four what are we on what are we on four or five i i don't know these questions are so good it, it, it don't even matter man all right so uh random customized generator generator <laughs> starting now let's go Stop. Nine, okay. We have nine now. All right, so let's see what nine in holds. Entail, I'm, I just make up words sometimes. I get on camera and I just feel like I'm the dictionary. Like I can really just make up whatever I want. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for that y'all. You see? Okay, okay, look at the world. My chain here kind of coming in here y'all. See, y'all try to play me. Y'all be trying to play me about my chin hair. Nine, uh, which habit are you proudest of breaking? <sighs> okay, so actually, when I was little, not even when I was little, I like to say when, like before middle school, because I was starting to be conscious about it through high school. I'm 21 right now, just so you know. But in middle school, I used to like, in, whenever I brushed against something, like if I was walking against a wall and like my elbow just, I would have to go back and like reverse brush it low key. Like I know this sound crazy, but I would have to, if I hit it like this, I had to reverse brush it or like walk up to it and like, like not, like sometimes I did stub my toe and then go back and like, but I'm not talking about that. I'm, I'm talking about like, I had to like 
undo it from a history type like it was weird and it was for like little stuff like if i barely grade something i would just in high school like i started i would look at it and i'd be like don't do it like you don't it already happened you're not gonna delete it out of history if anything you just doubled up so just chill so now i don't do that anymore <laughs> but it is a bad habit and i've also seen like some of my close friends also have like little habits like that so if you got little like weird type habits like that let me know because a lot of people i'm starting to realize have like little weird shit that they do and i don't know where it comes from but like everybody low-key has that one thing hold on before i go into the next question amazing all right <laughs> so for the hold on i almost forgot gotta do the generator y'all three two one 15 did i already do 15 let's see this is gonna be the last question this is gonna be the last question for sure so do you think double testing is a big deal all right so double texting I don't know because I'm somebody that if if we're talking and like you will double text me because sometimes you double text because you're just trying to like you might be you might be one of those people that send like multiple texts because you're enthused about something so like the first text will be like all right a little bit of this but then the next text will be like explain it a little more into it then the next text will be like explain it you know something like that and like if we're talking and on like the q-tip and usually that happens like you'll text and then they'll double text or like if they'll text and then submit like i set down my phone a lot and like i may not reply directly so like i might get another text five minutes later and i'm like i'm i mess with, like i'm happy because you text me back and like because i am honestly like i'm focused on your text but it's just a lot going on but you double text me now i'm like oh let me let me respond to this let me go back and now i'll probably double text too maybe not like at two separate times but like at the same time like it i feel like it takes a, a part like once somebody starts to double text then i can get comfortable like oh you really want to talk talk okay so now we can you know now we can get into the cute shit. but double texting for like if I'm double texting because the conversation is dead and I'm trying to reignite, I don't do reignitions. I don't do reignitions. If the conversation is dead, I will leave it dead. I might try one time, you know, I might try, you know, a little bit of effort, like I'll pick it back up or if I, cause I can change the topic well. So I may change the topic. I might try to, you know, see if it's just, Maybe I brought up something you didn't really mess with or something that's not, you may not want to talk about. You may not be good about talking about this subject. But like, if if we come to that, like dead point in the combo multiple times, I'm, you're out of here. You're gone. It, Cause double texting can be, like I said, it can be cute, but then it can just be draining. Like I'm not forcing a single text. So I'm definitely not forcing a double text. And that always wasn't that way. To end off that question, y'all, <laughs> double texting is not really a big deal because whether whether I'm not finna double text or I'm double texting because it's cute, either way, it shouldn't take thought. If I got to think about double texting to reignite the conversation, then don't do it. If I got to think about double texting because maybe it's too much, then maybe you should still do it because once you double text the first time, like if I'm talking to somebody and then they double text first, like, to, you know, then I'm kind of like, oh, you really want to talk. So double texting, it's not really a big deal, but don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. But that's the last question. Uh, uh, shout out to y'all because I'm really trying to stay consistent. I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying to put out uh, music. I'm trying to put out uh, YouTube. I'm trying to put out gaming. I'm, I'm trying to do a lot. And shout out to everybody that's been supporting me, that's supporting me now, that's yet to come. Uh, turn on post notifications, subscribe, like this video, all of that. Uh, these were just some questions to really let y'all know. It wasn't like super personal questions, but 
it was question to kind of get my personality to jump out a little bit. Hopefully you rock with it. Hopefully you keep rocking with me because this is the road to really consistency. I'm not really shooting for anything more than that. Everything else will come. But yeah, surrounded gaming. F luck. That's the motto. Go out and get it. And uh, till I see y'all next time. Shout out to y'all.